guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, I have a Sephora haul. Um, and this box is jam-packed with stuff. So, let's see what I can get out, shall we? Let's. I did get some samples and, um, uh, my mind is spacing. I used a 100 point perk for a product. So anyways, let me get my samples out of here. So anyways, I did get an Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I used a 100 point perk, or 100 of my points to get this because I've been wanting to try that out and I didn't want to pay full size and wound up hating it. So anyways, I did get that. And I got three, four lip products. Let me get this ah, out. And let's see. I got the Bare Minerals Gen Noon Matte in the shade Swag. I have a bunch of other shades. Wait, did they change the packaging on this? I have to look. It's in my collection, but I feel like the packaging is different. But anyways, it's a beautiful mauve pink shade, so I cannot wait to use that. I do have a bunch of other shades, and I love, love, love this line. And then next I, want, I was wanting to try the Sephora hashtag lip stories. Been hearing a lot of good things about it. So I got the shade We. We? Yes, We. And it's a cream, sh cream. It's a cream uh, finish. And it's a beautiful, beautiful rosy nude. And it's what I'm wearing today. And it's so comfortable. And I was really hesitant to try a Sephora lipstick because I do have two that I'm actually, it's in my giveaway bin that I'm giving to friends and family that I just can't wear because while it smells really nice, I'm constantly eating that scent and it's that fragrance. And I, I, I just can't because it just interferes with what I eat, what I drink. I just, no. But this smells really, really nice. It smells... Sweet and florally, maybe? Or maybe it's just... I don't know, but... It's not strong, and I'm and I love the fact that as soon as you apply it, it's gone. You don't taste it. And it's so... It's hydrating, it's cream, it's smooth. Creamy and smooth. And so, yeah, and I really... They have a mixture of cream, satin, mattes... Shimmer? I could be wrong. And there are a bunch of different shades, so I really want to try to get one that's matte. I think it's called Love Love. That was the next one I want to get. And then, I've been hearing a lot of good things about the new... It's not really new. I think it's been out for a while, but... It's the Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss Plus Hydration. Um, I only say new because they did the a collab with Marimiko or whatever, where it has a special packaging... And so, anyways, and I got the shade, what is this one? Caramel Pop, which is a beautiful light nude shade. And I thought when I first saw this, it would be too light. But it's actually a nice light nude that doesn't wash me out. And so, yeah, I really liked that. And then I also got the shade Latte Pop. I really wanted Tender Heart. Um, but they were out of stock, and they still are. But... I have a, a few other shades on my wish list that I want to get because I'm in love with these. And this is, as I said, Latte Pop, and it's a beautiful nude. These are sheer but buildable. They are so creamy, um, very hydrating. They aren't sticky. They do not last long. You do have to reapply them throughout the day, but I don't mind that. These are the type of lip glosses that you can just throw in your bag. They are kind of bulky, but... They're not as short as you think they are. You think it'll be just that much, but when you open it, it's actually a lot longer. So, yeah, you get quite an amount of uh, product in there. But this is, has beco quickly become one of my uh, new favorite lip glosses, along with my ColourPop ones. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying those. And then, I got just one of the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows from Stila, and I got the shade Kitten. I went ahead and caved, even though I typically don't use liquid eyeshadows. I figured I, I really wanted to try it because I love the shade Kitten. 
it's one of you know the notorious shades that they are known for so and i have the eyeshadow singles of that and i love it so yeah i can't wait to try that and then i went ahead and got the new becca highlight um and vanilla quartz beautiful packaging i love becca products i really really do and it's beautiful so i don't know if this will be too icy gold on me but we'll find out i love the packaging it's so pretty and then I'm just setting everything here on my desk because there's just so much. And then I went ahead and repurchased the um, Eborian BB Cream in Claire because Claire apparently usually it used to be a shade that's hard to come by. But every time that I've been on Sephora, it's always been in stock. So I went ahead and repurchased it because I do still have some left. But um, it is over, what is it, 12 months? It's over six months, but the smell still so smells the same, and it's still really nice. I meant to wear that today, but I didn't. Um, I'm wearing a CoverGirl Healthy Elixir foundation today, but um, and I really, really love this. So um, I love wearing this, especially in the summer, and it. And I love the fact that it has SPF 20 in it. So I went ahead and repurchased that in case mine eventually goes bad pretty quickly. And my allergies are really bad, so I'm sorry if I keep sniffling a little bit. And then I wanted to try the Brio Geo Scalp Revival, the Charcoal Plus Coconut Oil Micro Exfoli Exfoliating Shampoo. I got the small size just to see if I would like it, even though I'm pretty sure I will because I love most of Brio Geo products. I actually really wanted, they had um, a dual set. It was a full size of this and the full size of the Repair hair mask or whatever it's called, conditioning mask, for like $70. And I was like, that's a great deal because you're basically getting one and then the other one like half off or something. But as soon as I put it in my cart and I was getting ready to check out, it went out of stock. And then I saw it was back in stock the next day, which I was planning to do my second order. It went out of stock before I placed the order. So anyways, I, couldn't, I haven't been able to find it now, but I decided to go ahead and get the mini size of this. And I'm sure I'll like it. And then I went ahead and got the Colonique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And I got the smaller size to see if I would like it. I know this would probably last me a while anyways. So yeah, I've been hearing lots of good things about it. And I originally love Clinique products. So it's always been so nice on my skin. So anyway, so I cannot wait to try that. And then next, I went ahead and caved and got the Soft glam palette from Anastasia, my mind space, and I actually just dropped this. Oh. Oh. And I love the velvet. It I keep hearing it is comparable to or comparable to the Modern Renaissance palette, which I absolutely love. Oh good, it's still okay. So, and here's what that looks like. And I am wearing this on my eyes today. I am I have Dusty Rose I have Dusty Rose, and then I have the Rose Pink, and then the, what is it, Tempura as my highlight. I have that on my eyes today, and I absolutely love it. And it, and the formula is very similar to uh, the Modern Renaissance. I didn't experience any fallout or anything. Of course, I do tap my brush before I um, put it on my eyes, but I didn't experience any fallout. And, I, and it blended really nicely. Um, so yeah, <sighs> I feel out of breath. Okay, um, the rest of it is pretty much skincare. I don't know why, I kind of want skincare crazy. But I got the Laneige, Laneige or Laneige, uh, lip sleeping mask. I heard about Leisha, who's ex Sparkage, rave about this, and I'm like, okay, I need it. Because the lip the lip product that I used to use for at night and also during the day, they recently changed their formula. Why fix what ain't broke? I, I don't know why. It was by Cutica. It's the Intense Lip Repair Mat, uh, Repair Lip Balm or whatever it's called. I love the fact that it was a little bit thicker but not goopy thick if you know what I mean and it lasts you know for several several hours it would last all night and now they've changed the formula 
They also changed the name too. At least this is what Amazon told me when I, because I found out when I ordered it and I opened it. The box is what it's supposed to, be, what it says, the intense repair lip balm or whatever. But the inside said therapy balm, which is usually two different items. But from what Amazon told me, the manufacturer stated that they are in the process of changing the name to therapy. So I might. It, so if I were to repurchase it, I might see a mismatched box. Like, the box will say one name and the product inside will say another. But the formula is completely different too. It's thinner and while it's still hydrating, it doesn't last as long. So, But anyways, I wanted to try this. And it smells really nice. It smells like, um, like berries. Oh, it smells like definitely berries. And it does say it has a mixed berries um it says where does it say that yeah it's a berry mix complex and moisture wrap so and you can definitely smell the berries and it comes with a little spatula so i cannot wait to try that i've heard good things and then um i went ahead and got the saturday skin wide awake brightening eye cream i have the saturday skin um moisturizer the facial cream and the Peel mask or uh, wash off peel, peel mask or whatever it's called. So my under eyes have been a little, um, little dark. I do have my Avon um, eye cream, but it's not help, helping with the darkness. So, but anyways, I thought I would eventually try this once I'm almost out of my Avon eye cream. So I figured I'd get it while I could get it on you know on sale because it is originally like $46 so I went ahead and get it while it's on sale so that way I have a backup eye cream once I use up my Avon and then I went ahead and got the let me check my time okay I'm good on time I went ahead and caved and got the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer it's for oily to combo skin and I have not used this yet because I want to use up some skincare products before I have, you know, my Avon ones that I'm enjoying and um, my Murad one I'm enjoying. I want to use all those up before I use this. I love the bottle. It's so pretty. And I hear, excuse me, that it smells like watermelon. So I am so anxious to try this. And I went ahead and got the, um, the sleeping mask as well to go along with it. There's a little spatula. But there's that. So I cannot wait to try that. Oh, if I can get them back in. Goodness gracious. I'm in Texas, so I can say that. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I am from Texas. So, anyways. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and get this big box out of the way. Every year, I always... Sometimes it's once a year, sometimes it's twice. Um, this is the first time I've purchased it for this year, but I went ahead and got the Caudalie of Beauty Elixir set. This is a better deal than just buying the full size beauty elixir alone because it is $49. So I always try to get this set where it comes with the foam cleanser and the mask. And you can get this whole combo for $49 plus the beauty elixir is full size. And I love, love, love this beauty elixir. It's one of my favorite products. Um, so yeah, I still have more than half left um, on my other bottle so I went ahead and grabbed a backup you know during the sale the next is um, I got the I finally came and got a Sunday Riley product I just think it's just so expensive and I'm not sure how my skin is gonna react to it I do have sensitive skin but I went ahead and got the um, UFO ultra clarifying acne treatment face oil I got the uh, smaller size I didn't get the uh, the bigger size because I wasn't sure how my skin was gonna like this and react to it but uh, but well pff, that just came out not the way that I wanted to this is what the bottle looks like and man you can smell I haven't even opened this yet I have not used it but you can definitely smell the scent and a lot of people I know a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with the set. Some people love it, some people don't like it. Because it's more like an earthy essential oil smell. And I personally really like it. And I think this is plenty 
for me to try to see if I like it because um, this is the, what size is this? 0.5 fluid ounce and it was like, I think it was like 40 something. I don't remember. So I think that's plenty that might, should last me a while because it's not something I would use maybe every day. I don't really know how often I'm supposed to use this. But anyways, I cannot wait to try it because um, I do have blemish prone skin or acne prone skin so anyways last but certainly not least is uh, another skincare um set i went ahead and caved and got the coconut rose or not coconut rose the it's just the coconut um skincare line by kopari this set comes with a coconut cleansing oil coconut rose toner the coconut face cream and the glossy lip and um, you get two ounces of the toner and cleanser you get one ounce of the cream and then the lip product is is full size but uh, I heard I saw all the reviews and they were really good reviews so I thought I would give this a shot I'm not going to use it right now. I will update you on my blog and eventually do a video. But it probably be a while before I get around to this. Because I do need to use up other skincare products. Well anyways. As I put that down. That is all that I got um, in my Sephora haul. I don't know if y'all want to know what I got samples of. But they're just a couple of perfume samples and stuff that um, I don't even know if I'll use. But... I got the Basha Cleanse Off Oil sample that I will use that I can't wait to use. And then I got the Miss Dior Perfume sample, the Tory Burch Heaven, what is it called? Whoops. It's called the Just Like Heaven, which smells divine. So, yeah, I cannot wait to play around more with these. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I certainly would appreciate it. Hit that notification bell anytime that you want to be subs uh, notified anytime I upload. And so please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys very soon.